when there is a shift in XRD peaks, shift mean this is the original XRD peak, and we can see here there, there is a shift here. So this means that there are strain or stresses in the materials. In today's video, I'm going to explain this phenomena in detail. This is basically the crystal lattices. This is basically the crystal lattices. And this is the deflection line or the XRD peaks from this crystal lattice. So look here, this is the original lattice where there is no strains and these are basically the planes where atoms are located. And the distance between these two planes are called interplanar distance. Interplanar means the, the, the distance between two planes. So this D0 is the original interplanar spacing. When there is no strain in the material, so we get this perfect deflection lines. Now, when there is a strain, uniform strain, uniform strain mean that uh, it distributed equally. You see here. Now, this is basically the tensile stresses here. Tensile, we just uh, apply force in this direction or apply force in this direction for understanding. So, we can clearly see that we basically the distance between the plane is basically now greater than the original distance uh, between these planes. So because of this, there is a shift in the peaks and you, we can see here that the peak shifts toward the lower uh, to theta. And you, you may ask that why this shift occur toward the lower angle. So we know from Bragg's law uh, that uh, lambda is equal to 2d uh, sine theta. So this, this is constant basically. So this means that uh, Distance is inversely proportional to the uh, uh, inversely proportional to the angle here. Angle. So if we increase the distance uh, between the interplanar spacing, so we decrease the deflection angle. This is why uh, the peak shifts toward the lower uh, lower angle because we know from uh, Bragg's law that this is the two theta, uh, and this is the two theta, and this is the intensity here. And let's start from here, 10 degree, and it goes to 180 or 90 degree. So we see here that the peak shifts toward the left. This is for uniform strain here. Now, uh, look this here. Uh, in this case, there is no, no uniform strain because uh, some forces uh, are from the top side here. And one is, this is, this is kind of bending here, bending. This is a kind of bending. So if you look into this, uh, this scenario here, so on the top basically, on the top, there are some uh, area where we have uh, the interplanar spacing greater than the original. But at the bottom here, at the bottom here, uh, we have uh, some area where the interplanar spacing is less than D0. Because here is a compression, this is a bending, this here is a compression and here is basically a uh, tension. And here is a compression. And there might be some areas where uh, we do not have uh, any increase or decrease in the interplanar spacing. So this means that uh, this situation is now basically act like uh, uh, the, 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 the different regions basically, different regions. I mean, the, the, this, is, this, this material is now act like different regions and from the different region, this is why we have these sharp peaks because one region is there, from there we have sharp peaks and another region sharp peaks is there. But XRD tells us the whole here so this is this material looks like amorphous somehow, amorphous. So this is how the uh, defects of uh, strain stresses on XRD peaks. Now there are basically two type of stresses for understanding. The one is called micro stresses. This is also called micro strain. So it basically vary from one grain to another on microscopic scale. This means that. This simply means that uh, this this is not uniform. This is one grain here. So here you got one kind of stresses here. This is another grain. So we have another type of stresses. This is another grain. So we have another type of stresses. So the stresses are varying uh, in such scenarios. This is this is in, in one grain we have one kind of stress or strain. In another we have another type of stress or strains, right? In microscopy. While when there are stresses that exist uniformly on large distance, for example, uh, when there is a stresses throughout the material, basically. So that is basically we call macro stresses or uh, macro uh, strains, right? This is basically, and this whole explanation I explain here uh, the way uh, I explain. 
the, the stuff here, right? So finally, uh, when there is a shift in XRD peaks, so you can clearly see that there are strains or stresses in a materials. Or if you think that there are stresses or strain in your material, so you will see that there will be shift in your XRD uh, peaks.